Hello everyone, I am Shubhata Bhattacharya. I am 2017 batch pass out from Electrical Engineering Department of Indian Institute of Engineering Science and Technology, Shippur. I have secured All India Rank 10 in GATE 2018 in Electrical Engineering. For GATE 2018, I did self-study completely. I was quite sure that I am going to be in top 10 because I have already calculated my marks earlier. So on that very day, it was again proved that uh, if you want something desperately and uh, prepare for that then nobody can stop you from getting that so i owe my success to almighty god and of course my family so coming to my strategies firstly i made a study chart for august september and october from august, uh, from august i have started my preparation so in every week i took two subjects and I solve the problems of those two subjects as much as I can from the practice book and used to revise the concept where I face the problem. So thus in three months I have completed all the subjects except maths and the aptitude section part. In weekends what I used to do is that I gave the subject list of the subject covered in that very week and analyzed my mistakes and make a note of them in a separate copy. Now this is very much important to revise effectively and wisely. From November itself, I started to give the full length mock tests. I joined two, uh, uh, two test series programs. So it will be nearly 30 mock tests altogether. So I calculated that if I attempt 10 mock tests per month, then all will be covered by um, January, the end of the January itself. At the starting of November, I made a study chart um, for the next three months, that is up to January, and followed it strictly. In November, I completed the leftover topics, that is engineering, mathematics, and the aptitude section, and started solving the previous year's paper. I solved the tricky ones twice in order to get a good grip on the subject and on the concepts where I face the problem. So in January what I mostly uh, did is that I uh, used to revise my copy of mistakes and my short notes and um, till the examination I revised them as much time as possible. On the examination day I uh, didn't study anything at all. I just woke up, got fresh and had a good breakfast. I reached the examination center one hour early. So after getting my seat, I just logged in and uh, watching the timer uh, going to zero. After it becomes zero, zero, the exam started automatically. So I didn't know what happened in next three hours. I just remember that uh, I leave my seat happily after three hours. So my uh, strategy during exam was to complete the aptitude section part in uh, first 20 minutes. Uh, then I attempted the one mark technical question in uh, next 40 minutes and then the two mark technical question in another uh, 90 to 100 minutes. So thus I got nearly 20 to 30 minutes in my hand for revising. So I revisited the question which I have marked for review or left to do and thus nearly uh, three hours I uh, used effectively. Now if you ask me to give a list of complete study material uh, then yes I can give you that I can read it out. Uh, recommended textbooks for electrical machines it will be PS Vimra for both theory and solve examples. For power systems, you can refer Nagrath and Kothari for solved examples and Stevenson and Granger also. For power electronics, if you ask me about textbook, you can refer PS Vimra or Rashid. But uh, what I personally felt is that the Gatematic YouTube videos are best and it will um, uh, take uh, it will uh, take much less time for completing the whole syllabus. I myself has referred them only uh, so according to me if you ask me then I will always recommend Getmatic YouTube videos for power electronics now for control systems Nagrath and Gopal book is very good Bisiku, Ogata they are also very good 
and uh, there are three subjects like signals and systems analog electronics and digital electronics we the people of electrical engineering doesn't bother about them much during our big tech so i will uh, suggest you to go for some standard coaching material which will be very helpful to cover all these three subjects in very less time uh, so for and uh, next elect for electrical circuits you can refer d roy choudhury or sadiku books for uh, electromagnetic fields you can refer sadiku or griffiths for measurements ak shahani book is best as you know the problem solved here are the best to clear your concepts so you can refer it for engineering mathematics there are two textbooks like dash and pal we all know and also bs gravel but the level is a bit higher in this book so uh, what you can do best in engineering mathematics is that uh, you please buy a previous year solved book for uh, which includes all the branches question paper uh, the made easy gate academy etc publications publish it you can buy this book and solve from there it will uh, cover all the um, engineering mathematics part quite um, quite good for practicing numerical you can refer kanuria but i uh, i will say that the answer here given are um, not so good because sometimes they are very lengthy some mistakes are there also so be judicious in choosing with choosing them and you can refer any standard coaching material always and previous year papers are the best okay and for e resource i will suggest you get matic youtube videos because they are now uploading almost every subject so this is very much helpful now for aptitude section i didn't follow any book but if you want you can refer made easy aptitude book it will be ha uh, handy so um advice to my uh, fellow students will be uh, i just want to say that uh, believe in yourself and be dedicated and focused because um during preparation it's the most important thing that be be focused i used to meditate during my preparation time because it used to give me a lot of positive energy which was very helpful for from uh, for me to uh, be focused during this preparation days the most important thing for achieving a good rank in gate is that attempt as many mock tests as you can and analyze your mistakes in those exam and make a note of them in a separate copy and revise them regularly so that you don't forget them and didn't commit such type of mistakes during the exam lastly believe in yourself be focused and um, be focused during your preparation and most importantly keep your calm during the exam hours because they only can fetch you the thing you have wanted in those serious months of preparation so be focused and dedicated you will get it surely what you have wanted so all the best to all the future aspirants